Welcome to Keeping It Honest. So, you may have heard that John Banner's somewhat of a plan for the debt ceiling got proposed not once, but twice. Here's the rundown. The vote for his plan was originally supposed to start at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But, according to some rule in the house, if you de don't have enough people to vote on it, you have a right to delay it. You delay it one hour, two hours, three hours, and right before the 11 o'clock, um, 11 o'clock plus 8 Eastern time, John Bean, a, a representative of the GOP, um, what puts out a statement to the press saying, guess what everybody, we're not going to vote on the plan, no, uh, not tonight. Again, Republicans, they are stalling and stalling and stalling and it's killing me to see how much when we elect our elected officials, they don't know how to get a deal done. Right now, as it stands, we are less than a week away before the U.S. goes into the fall, the first time in our nation's history. And the Republicans is taking this thing by hostage. They already promised if they vote in, because as of right now, the Congress is divided between Democrats and Republicans, but overall we got a Democratic president. Once it gets to, if I'm not mistaken, if if the speak the speak of the house gets that is somewhat of a bill passed through the Senate, that thing's gonna get destroyed. The Democrats got enough power in the Senate to get that thing like an afterthought, and we're gonna be in a hell of a mess because right now, like I said in the previous video with Washington's debt crisis, they're acting like children. They are really, really, really acting like children. They don't know what they want. John, the Speaker of the House don't know what the hell you want. Obama don't know what the hell he wants. So pretty much we got a monotony on our hands and we all know that we all have nothing that could do it. Because at the rate that we see it, you that we got to compromise. The Republicans got to come up with a compromise. The Democrats got to come up with a compromise in order to keep the country going so interest rates will go up, our uh, AA credit rating won't go down, and it won't fix all the other uh, global economies. God forbid, if this then goes into another recession, all hell breaks loose because we know our elected officials don't know what the hell they're doing. We have some people and people under being that said, I respect the Speaker of the House on this and that and all the other stuff but I just cannot vote on this bill. No, the votes that John Bader needs for his somewhat of a bill to pass is 216. He only had maybe two dozen votes and he can still get the majority passed by that same amount, two dozen votes. So right now we have a monotony on our hands that going to go into tomorrow and we're going to see how this ends but as of right now the republicans got this poor country hostage and if we don't come up with a compromise soon you can blame the republicans for not coming up with some whatever deal stay tuned with the next era in journalism all day tomorrow to see what in the hell they want to do but as of right now for this edition of keeping it honest my name is Dara dukes be kind of women